Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, January 22, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You won't want to miss any critical updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. Since January 18, 2024, our system has identified Intel as a promising investment, classifying it as a buy candidate with a score of 3.35. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. Interestingly, Intel's stock has witnessed a gain of 3.17%. This equates to an average daily return of 1.06% since it was classified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the midst of a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential for further growth. Based on the three-month trend, there is a projected 36% change over the next three months, with a potential return ranging from 30.45% to 53.85%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 57.08% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging from 20.21% to 69.29%. This translates to a price range of $57.96 to $81.63 after 12 months. Our latest update on Intel brings an important headline, weaker technical forecast for Intel as stock downgraded to buy candidate. On the last trading day, which was Monday, January 22, 2024, the Intel stock price increased by 0.145%, going from $48.15 to $48.22. This marks the third consecutive day of gains. It will be interesting to see if the stock can continue its upward trend or take a brief pause in the coming days. Throughout the day, the stock experienced a fluctuation of 3.21%, moving from a low of $47.64 to a high of $49.17. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 2.84% increase in the stock price. The trading volume decreased by 11 million shares on the last day, with a total of 44 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $2.13 billion. It's important to note that a decrease in volume during a price increase can indicate a potential divergence and serve as an early warning for possible changes in the upcoming days. Looking at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks, the highest price reached was $51.28, while the lowest price was $24.73. Currently, the stock is trading at a price that is 5.96% or $3.06 below its 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 30.41% or $21.07 below its all-time high, which was achieved on January 24, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Welcome to today's video on Analyst Ratings. Let's dive into the latest updates on Intel, the ticker symbol for Intel Corporation. On Friday, January 19, 2024, Tigris Financial gave Intel a buy grade with a hold action. Moving on to Monday, December 18, 2023, Needham gave Intel a neutral grade with an upgrade action. On Friday, December 15, 2023, Deutsche Bank also gave Intel a neutral grade with an upgrade action. Similarly, Bank of America Securities reported a neutral grade with an upgrade action for Intel on Friday, December 15, 2023. Lastly, on Wednesday, December 6, 2023, KGI Securities gave Intel an outperform grade with an upgrade action. Analysts have given Intel stock a general buy rating. They consider the P-E ratio and price to book as neutral. In terms of return on investment, the analysts rate the stock as neutral. Today, we will be discussing the signals for Intel stock. Currently, there are mixed signals in the stock. 
On Wednesday, December 27, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a 5% decline. It is expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is identified. In addition, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, there are also positive signals for Intel stock. It holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive forecast. Furthermore, the short-term average is above the long-term average, generating a general buy signal. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $47.28 and $46.34. It is important to note that a breakdown below these levels will trigger sell signals. Despite gaining prices, volume fell during the last trading day. This creates a divergence between volume and price, which could serve as an early warning. It is advisable to closely monitor the stock. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence is showing a sell signal. Pivots have indicated a sell signal 17 days ago. Bollinger bands have given a buy signal 17 days ago. The short-term moving average is indicating a buy signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average has given a sell signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages has shown a buy signal 54 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average has given a buy signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average is indicating a buy signal 59 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages has shown a buy signal 204 days ago. If you want to discover more signals, remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for Intel. Intel currently has a support level at $46.16, which has seen a significant accumulation of volume. This signifies a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upwards reaction when the support level is tested. When it comes to trading this stock, it's important to note that it has average movements throughout the day, indicating a medium level of risk. Yesterday, the stock had a price range of $1.53 between its highest and lowest points, which accounts for a 3.21% fluctuation. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 2.94%. Before we discuss potential trading levels for Intel, let's first understand some key fundamental data. One important metric to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company has negative earnings or is operating at a loss. Established companies may experience temporary downturns due to external factors. However, consistent negative P-E ratios could suggest insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Now, let's move on to the latest news. The upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for January 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $0.430. It's important to keep a close watch on these figures, as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for Intel. In the case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $48.45. If you're considering entering a position and don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached. However, if you're already holding the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the downside, Intel encounters its first support level at $46.16. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point with the anticipation of a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, Intel has received a combined average rating of a buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On December 29, 2023, Yuri Frank D. purchased 141,791 shares of Phantom stock units as an insider. On December 29, 2023, Smith Gregory D. bought 62,189 shares of Phantom stock units as an insider. On December 29, 2023, Goldsmith Andrea Joe acquired 522,388 shares of Phantom stock units as an insider.
On December 22, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. purchased 13,063 shares of common stock as an insider. On December 22, 2023, Gelsinger Patrick P. sold 6,477 shares of common stock as an insider. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power has been calculated to be negative, with a ratio of minus 8.232. In total, insiders have bought 337,967 shares and sold 403,532 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is $46.24, which represents a decrease of 4.1%. This stock demonstrates moderate daily movements, implying a medium level of risk. Additionally, there is a sell signal from a pivot top that was identified 16 days ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, we believe that Intel stock may present a buying opportunity in the short term. While there are some minor weaknesses in the technical picture, the overall trend and signals are positive. Furthermore, our systems have identified that the current price of Intel stock is undervalued, considering its volatility in recent movements in the market. Looking ahead to Tuesday, January 23rd, we anticipate Intel to open up at $48.34, with a modest increase of $0.123. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please note that the information provided by StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you acknowledge and take responsibility for your own investment decisions. We want to hear your opinion. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about the current view of this stock? And what target do you have in mind? Your insights are valuable to us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. We hope you have a successful trading day and a beautiful one too. Sending regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.